hey y'all welcome back to my channel today's video i'm gonna be doing an at home facial i have all my products laid out right here we'll be doing a dermalogica review i will be getting to it i said that in um, my other videos but i will be doing a review on whole uh dermalogica pro line and the regular products because i have them mixed up because i did get the kit from my school so i have the products all right here to get comfortable and cozy you see i have my robe on my head wrap on i'm ready to get started i haven't given myself a facial in so long I just haven't had the time and well actually that's a lie i'm just lazy but i'm really trying to get out of that and just do more self-care activities that make me feel good and this is one of them i love giving myself facials because it's my face i can take and spend as much time on my face as i need to i have a couple of extractions and things like that that we will get into in this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and join my little family and let's get into the video so first i'm going to start off with washing my hands so the first product that i'm going to use is the pre-cleanse you do apply this to your face dry so i'm going to take like one pump So I'm going to activate this now with some water and it should turn like a milky uh, color. Right now I'm going to take this off with my hot towel that I have right here. I did put some of this calming botanical mixture to my water with my hot towel just to give it more of an aromatherapy feeling and a smell because it smells so good it smells just like essential oils now i'm going to go in with my second cleanser so i'm going to be using the dermalogica special cleansing gel i'm going to take one pump of that also this is exactly what i do when i am giving somebody a facial i do these exact steps I'm kind of trying to do what i would do on somebody else on me make sure you guys are washing your face for at least 60 seconds or more i have said this a lot but it is so important so that your cleansers can work properly and do what they're supposed to be doing for your skin all right i'm going to be taking my hot towel again and it's just basically in a bowl with water the only difference that i'm doing is i do wash the neck and the decollete on my facials if i do facials with somebody doing a facial on them i do wash their neck and their decollete i am not washing mine though because i just got out the shower and it's um i got this robe on and it feels really good so i don't want to take it off next i'm going to go in with this multivitamin thermofoliant and it's an exfoliator I'm going to remove it with a hot towel once again. Okay, so now that our face is washed and exfoliated, the next step in my facial routine is using the ultrasonic skin scrubber and I'm going to show you guys what that is. So it basically looks like this all 
estheticians use this an esthetician does not use this then I don't know it's a very popular device that estheticians use and it basically exfoliates to the top layer of your skin so you just go across your skin and exfoliate your skin I also use this with the multi-scaling gel to soften the skin so that um, all the gunk and nastiness comes out of my skin easier and I start in sections of my face so I'm gonna start with my forehead I'm done with the skin scraper. My skin is feeling so good. Just putting um, all the extra stuff on. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's filled with nastiness. So now I'm going to rinse my face off with my hot towel. Next are extractions, and I do wear gloves um, whenever I do extractions for my facial, so that's what I'm gonna do. I do a little bit of stuff differently when I do facials on other people versus when I do it with like on myself i am missing a few steps like steam like uh, a steam towel a hot towel well i have a hot towel i just don't have a steam towel um so just a little few things that are different so i am going to be using an extraction tool on my uh face my extractions and i'm going to be looking in this mirror over here if i catch something i will show you guys but i'm going to be in this mirror just so that i can see better i got a little blackhead I see that little thing hanging that came out of my face i love extractions i love everything about it it's an esthetician's favorite part of a facial Oh, yeah, I love extracting things out of my face because I'm getting all the bad stuff out of my face Like why wouldn't I like it? Hey right, guys, it looks like I've been crying But my eyes always tear up whenever I do extractions Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to apply some post extraction solution just to bring my face down Use this post extraction solution. Now we're gonna get into the high frequency, which I love and it kills bacteria, stimulates blood flow. Just love high frequency so much. I have it and I don't even use it as much as I should be. This is just so that it can help the oxygen flow through to get the benefits of the high frequency better, but you can also use it without this. I sometimes use it without it. All right, so now that we zapped all the gunk away, we're gonna be moving on to the next step, which is massaging the face. And I have this massage gel cream. I love this massage cream, it's really good. And it slides on the skin really nicely whenever I'm doing a facial on somebody else.
now that we're done with the massaging i'm going to wash this off then we're going to go into the mask mask tone moisturize and spf So for my mask, I'm gonna be using the Multivitamin Power Recovery Mask, and it looks like this. I'm going to be using a brush to apply the mask. All right guys, and now that the mask is applied, I'm going to wait for this to settle into my face for about 10 minutes. I'm just gonna show you guys the products that I use for the tone, moisturize, and SPF. The toner that I use is the multi-active toner. I also use the active moist and this is really good for oily skin it can be too lightweight sometimes because sometimes it's not moisturizing enough but then sometimes it's really good and i don't need any moisture other than that and then i have this sunscreen the writing came off the bottle but this is the sunscreen so i'm just gonna wait for this to settle in my face for about 10 minutes do those three products and then i'm going to come back to you guys Alright guys, we've come to the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know if you found this video helpful down in the comments below. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.